Virtually 100 percent of the net job creation in the last year has gone to migrants. You know that? Most of the job creation has gone to migrants. In fact, I've heard that substantially more than uh, beyond, the, actually beyond the number of 100 percent. It's a much higher number than that, but the uh, government hasn't caught up with that yet. Sir. New York Times, uh, I wanted to ask you about the latest economic news from this morning with inflation now being under 3 uh, percent, the lowest rate since uh, mid-2021. What is your sort of reaction to that news? Well, I think you, the crowd reaction says it all. No, it's painfully obvious that conservatives just pull these stats out of their asses. I mean, if virtually 100 percent of the net job creation in the last year went to migrants, so, so nobody else is getting hired. Americans just aren't getting hired. What about the corporate jobs that migrants don't qualify for? You know, all the McDonald's, the Targets, the Walmarts, the, the Shake Shacks, the Best Buys, no matter what store you go to, ain't going to be nothing in there but Mexicans and Guatemalans and, and you know, all those other brown, Spanish-speaking Latinos. Nobody else is getting jobs. The provisions of the Republicans' tax package um, increase or, you know, add to or pay down our national debt? Uh, it undoubtedly added to our national debt. Hmm. Republican math here. It added to our national debt. Let me, let me show everybody how much. Wait, hang on. It's a two whiteboard situation. Can you read that number for everybody? That's 1.8 trillion. 1.8 trillion. Couldn't even fit it all on one whiteboard. So this is how much they added to the deficit, even as they're, the premise of this hearing is that the deficit is a real problem and that Republicans believe it's a real problem. So if they didn't solve our deficits through the tax code, through that, um, tax piece, they surely took action to fully pay for Social Security and Medicare um, so that we don't drive up the deficit that way. Dr. Harris, do you know how many Republicans co-sponsor the Social Security 2100 Act, which would make Social Security solvent for years to come? I don't know. I'm guessing zero. Zero. It's a really small number. Don't even need a whiteboard can do this one with my hand. So Republican math in terms of the budget, which, which is made by Congress, not made by seniors, by older Americans, means increasing our deficit by $1.8 trillion and doing zero to reduce the effect of the debt um, by Social Security and Medicare and adjusting those policies to be able to be um, better funded. Sheriff, do you know if within the last year between 2022 and 2023, if there was an increase or decrease in murder and negligent homicide in Tarrant County? I don't have the numbers in front of me, but, uh -huh. it, but it did not increase. Okay. In fact, it went down by almost 17%. So great job. Um, what about manslaughter by negligence, or we call it criminally negligent homicide? I believe it also went down. Yes. In, in past, it may be on ticking up at, at the moment on um, intoxicated and homicide may be ticking up at the moment in 24. Okay. Well, we had a 56.52% decrease. How about rape? All those categories we believe went down. Absolutely. And, and I do credit a lot of incredible law enforcement and municipal police chiefs. Awesome. So there actually was a decrease by 3.35% in rape. Robbery went down 4.5% and both aggravated and simple assault went collectively down by 3.18% and theft went down by 3.89%. This is at the same time in which we're talking about the migrant community and stoking these fears that they're bringing all of this trauma and this crime and violence to our communities. But when we look at a Texas community, Tarrant County, actually everything has gone down. And I do want to thank you for your service in that way because it takes a team. It can't just be one thing. It means we've got to have great law enforcement, but we also have to have really good policies. And we honestly need to be honest about the data that we see. So overall, it shows me that sheriff in Tarrant County, um, all crime was down. 
is what I can tell from the numbers. Luckily for all of us, it's looking like Trump is certainly going to lose this election. Unless incredibly unlikely events take place, he's done. Th this is over. I mean, but at the end of the day, we've gotten so numb and so used to all his constant lies. He just lies. He just says things. I mean, the other day, this dude said that he and Elon's Musk, uh, Elon Musk interview broke every record in history. What does that even mean? What, what does that mean? He, when he was at the RNC, he said 107% of black and brown jobs have been taken by migrants. 107%? How do you have, how do you have all the jobs plus 7% extra of the jobs? Like, he just says things. But, you know, again, like I said, luckily it's looking like the country's pretty tired of this. We got Joe Biden out of there and now we're just ready to move on. This dude cannot be president again.